then I started to break down and cry. I thought that if I had the faith that they would be okay. OPP, what an island. Just paradise, an absolute Beautiful. paradise. We're basically just trying to decide how we were spending the last day of our honeymoon. Should we drink a couple cocktails and hang out by the pool, or should we go on a speedboat and enjoy the day? Things were good. Things were very good. Everything was normal up until the time where we just got on the boat and then all the water disappeared. Plötsligt så försvann allt vatten. Och nu så står alla båtar som ni ser här helt stransat. Sara hon ser glad ut ändå. Ja. You know as a stupid tourist thought this was quite funny. I kept filming. It took maybe just a few minutes from the time that the water disappeared and then it started coming back again. For 20 sekunder så kom det ungefär 4 meter vatten. Helt jävla sjukt. Vi hann liksom knappt ta oss upp på stranden innan jag... Det här är helt sjukt. Det här är vad jag kallar... Oj, jävlar! Vi kände att det här... ...power, den här stora kraften bara skvisar våra ankel. Översvämning på Pippi. Vi började först gå från den beach. Och bara en sekund senare måste vi gå. Jag har dem här. Kom bara. Okay, spring fort, Japan. Spring down, let's do that. Are you okay? Come here, Bob. People who was maybe just 10, 15 meters behind us, they were totally trapped. And then you heard some serious screaming. We started hearing people screaming and running. When I first heard it, I thought they were all really excited to be on the island, and I just thought it was kind of a bit excessive, to be honest. I thought it was a terrorist attack. I thought there had to be something going on. It had to be terrorism. We hurled ourselves over the lobby desk and ran into a back room. And then the next thing you know, it happened. started getting so loud that we had to scream to each other and we were screaming I love you I love you and I looked at Will and I said this is it isn't it and just as the room erupted he screamed no this isn't it the whole room imploded and we were in pitch black going around in a washing machine Oh my God, look at the waves coming. Clear out, people! Clear out! I hope no one was out there. Oh my God, look out! Get in the room, get in the room, get in the room. Most waves come in and go out. This one didn't stop. TVs floating. Oh, mattresses. Oh my God, this is a devastating. We're not going anywhere today. It just came across the island. Picking up everything. 
I mean, there was nothing that that wave couldn't pick up. We can feel the whole building just shaking. It's like an earthquake. You can't really understand what you're seeing because just like 30 or maybe 60 seconds earlier, you were down there on the ground running. And now it's maybe 10 feet, three meters of water covering the whole island. Will and I were underwater, and I just remember just, you know, tumbling and tumbling. I have no breath left, and I've been smashed to pieces and just kept on thinking to myself, this isn't how I die. This is not the end of my life. And then, very shortly after that, realizing this is the way I die. I was sending prayers to my family, and all of a sudden, we just popped up, and um, we were in the middle of the ocean. I couldn't use my arms because my clavicle had broken, and we were being sucked back onto the island. In order to stay up, I tried to kick, to swim, to doggy paddle, to anything, and I realized I couldn't move my legs. Um, and something snapped, and I just knew I, I, my legs were useless. I couldn't think of the pain because I was just in the middle of the ocean, and my wife was next to me screaming that she was broken, that she was broken, and I, I just was thinking, how are we gonna get out of this? We had honeymooned in Sri Lanka and we wanted to go back ever since, hadn't we? Uh -huh. And then we'd had Isabella and there was never an opportunity. Then Isabella was five years old and it seemed she was old enough. We felt brave enough to take her on a long flight. And so we decided to spend our Christmas in Sri Lanka. It's a nice amazing country. It's paradise, oh. it's absolutely paradise. Beautiful, gentle place. It was a beautiful day. I had a shout. <laughs> yes, we did. Is it better to sleep? Yeah, it was a nice Boxing Day morning. <laughs> yes, we did. I should have said that. We so. made love. Mm. Yeah. Isabella woke up and everything was absolutely heaven. Because you're a bit of a space cadet at that time of the morning, you think it's an unusually high tide or something. Initially, you think, oh God, all my clothes, are Bella's present, they're all over the floor on this swarming mass. And then at this time, I'd grabbed her and she was literally facing me, her arms wrapped right around my neck, you know, I'd children wrapped themselves as tight as you could, and she was literally right around here around my neck. I thought the water's coming in, just open the back door so the water can eventually flow out. And the door slammed shut, leaving me outside. I could not get the door open, the force of water against the door. And the 
water level rose and rose and rose. And I remember saying to Isabella, don't worry, hold on to mummy, because it will stop in a minute. I remember telling her that, and she just, she didn't cry, she didn't scream, she just whimpered. And that's when a massive wave hit. My only thought was Isabella. Quite. My only thought was Isabella. And I don't know how... I don't remember letting her go. I don't remember that. It wasn't a tearing apart of arms or... The next thing I knew, I was just without her. I couldn't get my breath. The panic when you can't get your breath. And you breathe water. God, God, the panic. Oh, I can't imagine I'm worth death and drowning. I can't.